The IntelliGel MicroMIDI has a useful online configuration utility. Here you can edit various parameters of the module with drop-down menus and sliders. Currently, the configuration utility is only supported by Google Chrome and can be accessed through the IntelliGel website on the MicroMIDI's page. Holding the Learn button for a full second will save any new settings to memory for recall next time the unit is powered on. If your MicroMIDI is not detected, you may need to install a firmware update. Now let's have a look at the parameters in the configuration utility. Clock Division sets the timing of the clock output, which can also be changed by using the blue Division button. However, here you can select exactly which division you want instead of toggling through them one by one. Clock Mode determines whether the micro MIDI constantly outputs a clock signal or if it waits for an external MIDI host to engage playback. Channel allows you to select a specific MIDI channel for the micro MIDI to listen to for MIDI messages. Pressing the red MIDI Learn button will assign the micro MIDI to the first MIDI channel it hears a message on. CC Output Source determines which channel the micro MIDI's CC output receives data from. This can either be configured to breath control, which is continuous control number two, or channel after touch. Note Priority determines how the micro MIDI will interpret overlapping polyphonic notes into monophonic control voltage for the pitch output. Lowest means that if multiple keys are held down, the micro MIDI will only play the lowest note. Highest will ignore all but the highest note while last will prioritize the most recently played note. The pitch bend range slider determines whether your pitch bend wheel controls a more subtle two semitone range or an extreme two octave span. Lastly, the coarse and fine tuning sliders allow you to precisely tune the pitch output of the micro MIDI. This might be necessary if your oscillators require an offset range for their input. And of course, you can quickly reset any changes back to default with this button.